As you watch this video, notice how Strasberg's superbly synchronized hand and leg motions give him an absolutely upright axis around which to rotate. I'm purposely going to stop his motion just before he begins his throwing action. Take a look at his front toe position. From my experience, his front toe position indicates he's keeping all his weight towards second base. Just prior to his explosive throwing action, his shoulders remain horizontal, his core remains vertical, and most importantly, his front foot has yet to make contact with the ground. At foot strike, his hips release all his stored energy through his vertical core and into his throwing hand. His superior location comes from his throwing arm reacting to his hips. As a reaction to his hips, he throws through the same arm slot on every pitch and generates the same throwing arm speed no matter the pitch he's throwing. He keeps his hitters off balance by merely changing his grips and his releases. As Strasburg's motion develops, watch his head react to his back knee activity. His head moves down as his back knee moves out over his back toe. Interestingly enough, his back knee moving out over his back toe is not an action unto itself, but a reaction to his synchronized hand and leg movements. Now that he's stored all this energy in his back leg, at foot strike his hips instantly release this energy to create a throwing reaction. Let me turn your pitching motion video into a pitching chain. I'll look for the first frame where I see your core moves from vertical. I'll back frame to locate your disruptive hand and or leg actions and then recommend the proven adjustments to give you the same vertical access to rotate around as you see in Strasburg's motion. 